In this video, we are going to look at how to set up a custom subdomain. This is very similar to setting up a custom domain. And to get your eyes on a clear instruction, head over to the link in the description below to our user database, and you will see this very nicely prepared article showing you step for step how to set up a custom subdomain. I'm also going to show you how to do it. And trust me, if I can do it, you probably can too, as this is not my forte. The first thing, of course, that you need is a domain. And for that, you will have to buy a domain from a third party as we do not sell domains at Brizzy. Once you have done so, head over to Setup, Manage DNS, and from one provider to the next, where you get these settings will differ a little bit. If you cannot find it, just send them a ticket or live chat them and they will tell you where to go. This is my main domain, the yellowacadis.com, and I'm going to add a subdomain which means a little thing in front of it to create a new domain within this. Click on Edit DNS Records. And to add that, we're going to add a CNAME. So under Type, make sure that you select CNAME. For the values, we go back into Brizzy. I have created this project, and I'm just going to call this the second yellow acadis. Let's say for some reason with my nice little bar, I want to have a second part to it, and we call this thing the second yellow acadis. What I'll do is I'll click on the extension and again select custom domain. From here in the domain name, I'm going to type in second.theyellowacadis.com and then I'm going to say submit. Once I've done that, it will give me again this splash screen, connect second.theyellowacadis.com. And under this, you will see my host extension appears there, as well as the required data. Then select that, go over and paste it. And we go back to get the required data value, select it, copy and paste. And just simply click add, do not change anything to the TTL. Keep that at its default value. When we go back, we will see that the current data still appears red. And if I click refresh, nothing happens. Again, note complete DNS resolution may take up to 48 hours. So take a break, let's go to bed and come back in the morning. Welcome back. In fact, it is welcome back and it is morning here. So let's see, without going in, what I'm going to do is just click here on the preview and see if we have resolved the setup. And as it loads, I think it's going to work this time, it does. Up here, we see our subdomain second.theyellowacadis.com with the little bit of content that I had brought in on that page. And that is how you set up subdomains within Brizzy Cloud Pro. For more informative tutorials here at Brizzy Cloud, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. We are adding new videos regularly with tutorials as well. See you in the next video.